Well, Singapore is partnering two U.S. organizations to share information and ideas for nuclear energy and its technologies. Uh, one is with non-profit applied science and technology firm Battelle. Uh, the other, the Idaho National Laboratory, which has a nuclear energy lab. Now, this comes as Singapore explores nuclear energy as a possible safe reliable option. Minister in charge of energy and science and technology, Tan Si Ling, as the public will be updated on the progress. We will engage the public regularly as we progress on this journey together. So for a start, we are releasing a background paper on Singapore's nuclear energy capability building journey here today to provide an overview of our interests and the government's work on capability building thus far. The 16-page paper highlights how nuclear energy can meet Singapore's energy needs as a secure, cost-effective and a clean energy source. Newer nuclear technologies are also on track to be commercialised within the next 10 years. Now, these include small modular reactors which have improved safety systems. However, the potential risk of radioactivity is still a major concern. To mitigate this, the National Environment Agency is working with ASEAN countries to set up a regional early warning radiation monitoring network. Singapore has not made a decision on deployment as it continues research into the potential use of nuclear energy. Nashra Rohim takes us through why the country is considering this option and also what's being explored. Singapore runs on precision, resilience and for now, natural gas. But with about 95% of its electricity tied to this single fossil fuel, the country is exposed to global price swings and supply chain shocks. As the climate crisis accelerates and energy demands grow, the pressure is on to find cleaner, more reliable alternatives. One of the most talked about solutions? Nuclear power. For decades, it's been seen as a reliable, but controversial energy source. For one, conventional reactors are massive, producing over 1,000 megawatts and often take close to a decade to build. But nuclear technology is evolving and the kind making headlines today isn't the old behemoth plant, but a new generation of reactors, smaller, safer and faster to deploy. Enter Small Modular Reactors, or SMRs. They are compact, next-gen nuclear tech that's designed to fit the needs of land-scarce nations just like Singapore. At the heart of nuclear energy is something called fission. That's when heavy atoms, usually uranium-235, are split. In this illustration, you can see that when a free neutron strikes the uranium nucleus, the atom breaks apart into two smaller nuclei. A tiny fraction of its mass is converted into a large amount of heat. Crucially, the split also releases two or three more neutrons. These can strike other uranium atoms, triggering a chain reaction. It's a self-sustaining process that continues as long as enough fuel and neutrons are present. The heat from fission turns water into steam, driving a turbine to generate electricity, much like coal or gas plants, but without carbon emissions. SMRs are a different beast, cranking out 50 to 300 megawatts. That's enough to power a city district or even an industrial zone. They're faster to build, easier to scale, and most of the heavy lifting happens in a factory. The parts are shipped in and snapped together on site cutting time and cutting cost. Many also feature passive safety systems, which can shut down and cool the reactor without pumps or human intervention. For Singapore, SMRs could offer unique advantages. They need less land, can be deployed offshore, and can be scaled gradually to meet rising demand. They can also provide heat for desalination, hydrogen production, or other industrial processes. While Singapore could benefit from considering the nuclear option, significant challenges remain. These include public perception, nuclear waste management, and the need for updated regulations. Globally, SMRs 
and Mars are already operating in Russia and China, with projects advancing in the US, Canada and the UK. With limited land and rising demand, the nation must think smaller, smarter and more sustainably, because conventional solutions alone just can't match the scale of what's to come. Small nuclear may be more than just viable. It may be the solution that aligns with the nation's unique constraints and future net zero ambitions.